Welcome back to our channel. Hear me out. I'm Dee. I'm E. And today's episode, we're going to be giving you guys some background on a woman that we spoke about on a previous episode. Um, just because we kind of want y'all to know why we had some of our little hesitations here and there on that story that was debunked. Um, okay, so the woman in question is Marjorie Harvey, the wife of Steve Harvey. Um, and so let's just jump to it. Who is Marjorie Harvey? Here's the boring details, y'all. Okay, well, the <laughs> initial boring details. Marjorie Harvey is the founder of her own fashion and lifestyle brand. Um, she calls the Lady Loves Couture. Um, she is also the co-founder along with her husband, of the Steve and Marjorie Harvey Foundation. It is a place that provides you outreach services that help cultivate the next generation of responsible leaders by providing educational enrichment, mentoring, life transformation skills, and global service initiatives. On top of that, Marjorie Harvey enjoys life as a social media influencer. She is big on Instagram with over 3 million followers. That's a lot. So, now... Whew. Let's get to some of the more salacious and scandalous details. Well, the word salacious. <laughs> so, Miss Marjorie grew up in Memphis and was married twice and had three kids before tying the knot with Steve. Third time to charm, I guess. I know. Uh, <laughs> she married her first ex husband, Jim Townsend, in the 90s. Um, Townsend was sentenced to life behind bars for attempting to purchase 40 kilos of cocaine, but was pardoned after serving 26 years in 2017 by President Barack Obama. Marjorie severed ties with him shortly after and divorced him five years into his sentence. In 2019, Jim revealed that he intended to publish a memoir slash tell-all book about his marriage to Marjorie and the drug drug ring they ran together as well as their run-ins with the law. It's called Snakes in the Grass. Okay. Mm. Um, it would detail how Marjorie was involved in his crimes, making her liable. Back in the early 90s, the FBI and the DEA were also investigating Marjorie, suspecting her of being involved in her husband's drug ring. It was said that authorities told Townsend his wife would be arrested as the agents believed they had substantial evidence of her own illegal activities if he didn't cooperate with them. Thus, Townsend was convicted. There is also speculation that Marjorie was pregnant during the time of Townsend's arrest and the FBI DEA decided not to press charges, but mm, who knows. Although Marjorie was never charged with the drug crime, association with Townsend brought unwanted attention to her. Townsend told Radar Online, I wrote two-thirds of the book in person, or in prison, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to tell my story. It don't matter if Marjorie knows about it. I have no allegiance to Marjorie. She showed her hand. Well, I'm going to tell my story. It doesn't matter if she knows about it. Libra. Well, that is husband number one. Number one. Ex-husband number two, Gardner oh. Woods, is a supposed distant cousin of Jim Townsend. Stop. So, guys, you know, I think, you know, before I continue with this, Marjorie Harvey has managed to make these stories so convoluted. Like, when we were researching, you'll find that, like, some articles say Townsend is all three of the kids' father. Another article says Darnell is, you know, I, clearly I don't know. I wasn't there, but Townsend yeah. is um, the father of all three. But, you know, I don't know. Okay. All right. Uh, so supposedly in, you know, a few of these articles, uh, Darnell Woods is a distant cousin of Jim Townsend. Not much is known about Darnell, who was reportedly a drug dealer as well. Does she have a type or what? <laughs> Their marriage may or may have not also ended with him in prison, but facts are sparse. And Marjorie herself has been mum on the subject. Mm -hmm. Now her kid's paternity. 
like I said, there were many conflicting articles about her kids' paternity. Some articles say that the two oldest children, Jason and Morgan, are talented. Some say all three, including Harvey. I mean, Harvey. Lori. Lori. <laughs> including Lori. Some say that Darnell is the father of all three. Again, at this point, who knows? Oh. Um, an article claimed that since Townsend's release, he's had many joyful reunions with the two older kids, Morgan and Jason, and their families, but Lori is absent. Lori's biological father has never been confirmed, though. Oh. Lori was born in 1997, and Townsend was in prison in 1992. So food for thought. Was it, you know, a juicy night, you know, in the... What do you call this in jail when they conjugal visit. was it a conjugal visit or was it darnell or somebody else i don't know who knows so we don't know who Lori's daddy is but it's steve harvey because you know clearly he adopted all three kids right so a little bit about steve the pair met in 1990 at a comedy club and briefly dated however the timing wasn't right Years later, Steve and Marjorie reconnected and tied the knot in 2007. With their union came the blending of the respective families, which includes a total of their seven children. Steve is a proud dad of twin girls, Brandy and Carly, and son Broderick Harvey Jr. from his first marriage, and a son named Winton from his second marriage. Although Steve had previously married twice, his relationship with Marjorie is unlike anything he's ever experienced. He said, Marjorie changed the way I existed. He told people in 2012, I've never been in a healthy adult relationship. I've never been loyal and I've never fully respected. So Marjorie, Marjorie, Marjorie. Oh, Girl, do you got a type of what? Well, I feel like I got to clutch my pearls. I ain't got none, but you know what I mean? <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> like, I mean, I'd heard, you know, different stories, but, but this. That she was investigated by the de alleged, alleged FBI and DEA. Don't come sue me, Marjorie. I don't got money, okay? Like I'm no just way. reporting what these articles say. Déjame tranquila. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Then, well, one for sure. The other one is like a well-known drug dealer. Were they cousins for real? Somebody give me the real story, Marjorie. Can you say something about this? Come on, just to me, girl. I'll just tell my my YouTube fam. That's it. <laughs> Crazy. But I don't know. That's a spicy, spicy test. I, I really am intrigued here. I had no, no full idea. Like, like I said, I'd read a few things, heard a few things, but never knew, you know, the extent of it. I mean, I'd heard, I'd heard something about how she kind of like weaseled her way allegedly into Steve Harvey's life once he started doing better and was more successful or something. Mm -hmm. Um but I don't know. I mean you know this um I also saw an article that said um when Townsend said that he was going to publish a book, Steve was actually going to divorce Marjorie and was like transferring assets. I don't know how accurate that is. Might be right, might be wrong. He was uh moving his assets around and it was worth like 200 million. I think we mentioned like that figure um, in the Marjorie, the Marjorie Chi episode. Yeah. Because he was shook, you know, that could mess up the brand. Oh, for sure. So. Oh, okay. Well, at this point, I don't think he's leaving her. Like not even with the alleged cheating. Um, but yeah, no, it's very interesting. Honestly, like, I I found it very strange how, you know, Lori got to the spotlight, like, so quick, or at least it seemed pretty quick, and, you know, she's kind of carved out a little bit of a, a persona um, in which she's seemingly the one kind of handling men in ways that men usually handle women. So, I don't know, maybe... Maybe that's, you know, like mother, like daughter, allegedly. I don't know. <laughs> I think a lady think like a man. Right. I mean. If Marjorie has managed to make a 180 with her life from two kingpins to like Steve Harvey, a multi-millionaire living the life, having yeah. a foundation. I mean, she got to know a thing or two. I'm right. actually interested. Like, girl, what you doing? Right. And Help hey, me. Help me. <laughs> Of, you know,
know, there's every possibility, of course, that she could have changed her life, that she's, you know, definitely not the person she was before. We're all entitled to change. But I, I mean, I don't know. I think it's always, like, interesting how you have people who are very transparent and they'll share, you know, like, all these details um, in the sake of transparency about their past lives. But then you have some people who bury it and, like, never want to talk about it. And then it just kind of feels like that adds more fuel to the fire of, like, what's going on here? What are we doing? Like, you know? I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like Steve is, like, I don't know, maybe because he's a comedian or whatever. You kind of, like, you know, he kind of talks about everything. Um, What you see is what you get kind of thing. Yeah, that's what it feels like, you know? But every time I see her, I'm like, there's a pair of mystery. It's because we know it's women. I mean, she's an enigma. Mm-hmm. So I know it. It's like that Lizzo thing I said. I could tell. <laughs> There's something about her. I don't know. <laughs> the mathing, mathing with Marjorie, with me. Yeah, no, I think yeah, I think you're definitely right. I mean. Say that again. I said yeah. you're right, girl. I've said I, it before. I've said it before. It ain't that new. Calm down. <laughs> Anywho, um, it's just yeah, no, it's very intriguing. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure, eventually, someone on TikTok is gonna expose everything. You know how it goes. Someone somewhere always ends up finding something out. Like back in the day, you used to have investigative journalism. Now you have TikTokers who find all the receipts, like read your whole entire life. So I'm sure if somebody's that interested, they'll find out. Somebody will find out. Yeah, I'm just, you know, shocked that Lori's dad is like, who is he, you know? I mean, I'm sure that if it's up to Lori, her dad is just Steve and that's it. Yeah, for sure. They do have a good relationship, so it seems. Right. And And she has the Harvey last name, so. She does. She sure does. And you, you have that last name, I think you're good. I think that means you might be in the will, girl. Just saying. (laughs) <laughs> 200 mil 200 hello 200 mil it couldn't even be more now mm. so right he has 10,000 jobs so right we never know I mean we know Marjorie's still there <laughs> well she's never leaving okay. that would be a dumb move you know yeah or, or whatever her name Here's is bag. yeah Here's the bag but guys, let us know what you think in the comments about Marjorie. Did you know all this information? Right. Did Did it change your perception about her? You know, yeah. should Steve have you know screw <laughs> somewhere else because this is like a little juicy, you know, <laughs> before he built his whole empire. So yeah, that's true. You know, I guess she's safe for now. But let us know in the comments what you think about uh, Marjorie and her whole life story. Yeah. Um, but that concludes today's video. Uh, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, please share our video with your friends. We're trying to grow our community. So we would greatly appreciate you sharing our page and, you know, so we could all chat and laugh and share and love. (laughs) Uh, we also have social media. We're on Instagram and TikTok at Hear Me Out D N E Delta Niner Echo, um, and you guys can also go to our YouTube uh, banner where it'll go directly uh, a hyperlink Instagram logo to our page where you can follow us, share, watch our clips, our posts, like, comment, all of it. You know, um, interact with us because we honestly enjoy interacting with everyone. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Peace.